For the first time ever, the UN Committee Against Torture is investigating the actions of the Palestinian Authority. The committee is meant to review every four years all 174 signatories of the UN Convention Against Torture, but has never investigated the PA, which signed on to the convention back in 2014 under its status as an observer state, documenting the Palestinian Authority and Hamas's torture of political dissidents, women, members of the LGBT community, and so-called collaborators with Israel. You no, know, there have been some major reports in the last few years about uh, the systematic nature of Palestinian torture. And in fact, there was a court case in Israel a few years ago which awarded millions of shekels in damages to Palestinians who had been um, who had been subjected to torture by the Palestinian Authority for, in that case, it was for collaboration with Israel. So this is nothing new. Um, but it, what's new is that the UN Committee Against Torture, which is a committee of 10 experts, is now for the first time reviewing the record of the Palestinian Authority on torture. A delegation of 17 senior officials from the Palestinian Authority will represent the Palestinians at the panel review session, headed by Ziad habel head of the PA Preventive Security Service, Service, which has been accused of serious crimes of torture in the past, including the high-profile case of Nizar Banat, a critic of the Palestinian Authority who was arrested and beaten to death by the Palestinian security forces, leading to massive protests in the West Bank. They can't force the Palestinians to do anything, but um, the, the state parties, I think, uh, in, in general, they take these matters seriously. And, um, you know, if, if they joined a treaty body and the treaty body tells them, you know, criticizes them or tells them that they need to improve, they should take that seriously. The Palestinian Authority has in the past deflected responsibility in international forums, claiming Israel and the occupation as reasons for the documented tortures, but they will be under scrutiny this time.